Let's read the Bible today, tonight. I want to show you some verses and then Genesis 25. We read from verse 1 to, to 6. Thank God you are still around. Genesis 25, from verse 1. Can I read? And Abraham, Abraham took another wife. This is the message of you people of Charis. And Abraham took another wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begat Sheba, Dedan, and other sons of Dedan were Ashurim, and Lutushim, and Lumim, and the sons of Midian, Epa, and Epe, and Hanok, and Abida, and Elda. All these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. But unto the sons of the concubines that Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts, and he sent them away from Isaac, his son. While he yet lived eastward unto the east country. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I just want to share with you this. It's been a very great challenge to me. Abraham was promised to be a father of nations. Abraham We know that, and the Bible says. Bible he had a promise that he will be given a son from his loins. To extend that one day when time was going, the Bible says one of a servant was given to Abraham. Abraham. And then the Bible says she gave birth to Ishmael. Ishmael. Ishmael was older than Isaac. You can see what the Bible says here. It shows that it was not only Hagar. Because here they were concubines. Concubines, it shows that they were there when Sarah was still alive. The Bible says when Ishmael grew, Isaac was born. When Isaac was beginning to play around, Ishmael was a problem to Isaac. Listen to this. A child of the promise will experience problems from the child of a concubine. A child of slavery always trouble a child of the promise. He fight to extend that he want to destroy the child of the promise. So the child of the promise becomes a heir to the family. When we read going down, we found that when Ishmael was taken away, there was Keturah. As Ishmael Keturah was the one that brought the Midian. Keturah Midian. But when those sons were growing, this man, Abraham, who fear God, 
Before Abraham died, Abraham he called all the sons of Keturah and he gave them gifts. He just gave them gifts. I'm sure he said to this other one, he said, take shoes, take shirts, and he take that one. But to his son, he gave him inheritance. And the Bible says he gave all inheritance. And this has brought a fight between the Midian and the Israelites. Because if you can see here, Verse 6, it says, but Verse six, the sons of the concubines that Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts. Abraham not only that, he sent them away from Isaac, his side. What was the reason? He wanted Isaac. He wanted Isaac. He wanted Isaac. Not to be contested. He wanted Isaac to be different. Having all inheritance without a limitation. I don't know if you're hearing this. Listen to this. This is the plan of God for us. God wants to set us aside where we cannot be contested. God wants to take us to a place where even when the enemies want to come and fight, they have to take a journey. I want to show you here in Judges 6. From verse 1 to 7. From verse 1 to 7. We can see the problem in the children of Israel. The children of Israel started to have a problem because of the Midianites. The people of Midian they saw very well what happened. They were sent away with gifts. But they were not here in the house of Abraham. And the Bible says Bible the generation was growing they started to make enmity and come to the land of Israel. And the Bible says they impoverish Israel. They end up destroying the seed of Israel. You know, they knew very well that when the Israelites saw a seed, they harvest. But when they come, the Bible says they never came alone. They hired the Amalekites and others to come and destroy Israel. And the Bible says the hand of Midianites upon the Israel. It's turned that the Israelites become poor. Let me try to tell you this. The Bible says there was also a soldier even in the spirit but born in the house where they worship idols. And that soldier was hiding and the Bible says God sent the angel to that soldier. Why are you hiding? You are the one who can take over and overcome the enemies. Why are you hiding? You are the one who's supposed to overcome the people who are overcoming your people. In fact, you cannot overcome and reach a level where you'll be able to plow and harvest. I don't know if you're hearing me. If you can see, you will see that the Bible says the Amalekites and the Midianites they come only when the Israelites saw the sea. 
they come when the Israelites do something. When they start something, the enemy comes. I'm here to tell you tonight that you are the one that you are hiding that must come out of hiding and become an army to overcome everyone who is against your nation. I'm saying that from now on you come out and you bear fruits that are required. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, if you cannot plow a seed and you are just hiding and because you know what will happen if you start, you won't harvest. What is happening to you today is it's only when you start something certain comes. If you don't do anything, Satan is not satan come. Come. The reason why you are still Satan is because you have started something. Can I tell you this? What you have started from now on, the enemy cannot stop it. I said the midnight cannot stop it. I said what you are starting from now they can plan against you. But you are about to bear fruit of If you believe, if you believe shout hallelujah. I read Romans 4. I want us to read Romans 4. Can you just read Romans 4, Mama? Verse 13 to 16. Because I want to give you scriptures here before it reaches somewhere. I think you have been waiting for this time. Can you just read verse 3? It says what? Verse 13 too. Just start from 13 to 16. 13 says. Yes. Oh. Romans but 4. Yes. Gideon said to him, please, my Lord. I'm sorry. Romans 4. But Romans 4. 13. Just read there. <clears throat> it says, For the promise to Abraham or to his descendants that he would be heir of the world was not through observing the requirements of the law, but through the righteousness of faith. If those who are followers of the law are the true heirs of Abraham, then faith leading to salvation is of no effect and void. And the promise of God is nullified. For the law results in God's wrath against sin. But where there is no law, there is no violation of it either. Therefore, inheriting the promise depends entirely on faith that is Confident trust in the unseen God in order that it may be given as an act of grace, his unmerited favor of mercy, so that the promise will be legally guaranteed to all descendants of Abraham, not only for those Jewish believers. If you read that scripture, how will I say? You will see that. Abraham, when he came, legally all Israelites were under Abraham. But the Bible says, out of the faith we have, we have nullified the power of the law. And by faith, by faith, we also become the the sons and daughters of Abraham. Abraham. Listen to this. The Bible says the Bible. blessing of being here in the son 
Isaac no umura isaka as also follow us diri shetchi morao le rena when we have faith ha ri thomo ba le tumelo i remember the bible talks about isaac ke go pola bible le rena botse ka isaka going to a land where he saw it as samaya ya plekeng ya wata jwa la peo and he have a bible le ya bona le fasilo na leo very big that ah ba motho mo go lo ngwa geng wona wo can i tell you this yo no tabashi by faith ka tumelo we possess the same power Rina, that Isaac was able to say that we can sow and we can sow and we can sow and we can sow we are the children of Abraham we have got ability to produce we have got power to become very big and become very rich the Bible says the promises that have been given to Isaac they are with us today when we read John 15 from 15 to 16 Jesus was speaking the same Ori Jesu ga bolela o bolela ntjo e jwalo. Atalose tsa rena ba thumelo. O re lena le sa le ba hlanka. Le na le ba gwera. Le ba ka shile ke lo utuletse. Di lo tse ka o fela tse ke dikweleng o tate. Yo na le na le ang gheta. A ke nna ke le hlautseng. O re le na le tele yenya di yenywa. Le tswele pele le ntshi le yenywa di yenywa. Listen to this. As you are children of Abraham, you need to bear fruit. As you need to bear fruit. And your fruit must remain. Listen to this. You are changing a year of reason. When people look at you, they must see you in a different way. I can see you bearing fruit. Now. I can see you bearing fruit. 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 I can see you bearing fruit right now. Look here. 2019. 2019. When you do something, they attack it. How did you do it? You never know attack. 2020. 2020 na. When you do something, how did you do it? You will reap. Utabuna. I say you will reap. Kero utabuna. I see a harvest. Kibona wona lipuno. Following you. I puno i ushalamra. I see you. Kibona wena. Harvesting. Umuna. I say harvest even where you have never sowed if you believe shall hallelujah. hallelujah why because you are children of Abraham. Abraham you are called to harvest i don't know if you hear me you are called to harvest you are called to take things people must know but you are child of God. God. i mean they, they are coming I, I'm expecting harvest. I'm feeling 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 I mean, he started to attack me. But God said, I must stay focused. When I'm focusing, God began to bring whatever he wants. I began to celebrate. Listen to this. That celebration of 2019 is coming to you 2020. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have to bear fruit. I have to bear fruit. Because I'm a child of Abraham. And my fruit must remain. I cannot stay poor. I cannot stay down. I cannot be defeated. Because God is with me. God is on my side. I have been chosen. I have been he didn't choose me eh, eh, nah, so that I stay empty he chose me so that I bear fruit I can see the fruit in your life they are coming your way in the name of Jesus if you read if you read Mark 11 I want to show you these verses from verse 12 to 14 
of Ithau 14. I want to tell you what is the meaning of those verses. I want to challenge you some You know, Jesus began to teach people how to produce fruits for you to be productive. Jesus said, it doesn't start outside, it starts inside. He began to say, if I command you, you do my command. If you just obey, you're already aligned to the place where I'm going to bless you. Because the commandment of Jesus takes us to Galatians 5.22. If you read uh, 22, Galatians 5.22, 5, it talks about the fruits of the Spirit. You cannot have things outside you when you don't start inside you. And when you start inside you, you start by doing God's commands. I don't care what you are facing now or what you were facing. Your obedience of loving others and doing commandments makes you to have the fruit of the Spirit. The moment when you have fruit of the Spirit, the Bible says, Whatever you ask, it will be given to you. Let me show you something in John 15 verse 2. Can you just read John 15 verse 2? Go and read John 15 verse 2. You'll be surprised John 15 verse 2. Go and read John 15 verse 2. You'll be surprised John 15 verse 2. It says what? Let me show you something in John 15 verse 2. I want you to read this Bible so that when you go home, when your friend asks you, what this is what the Canaanites are saying, tell him, John 15, <laughs> verse 2. <laughs> John 15, verse 2. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, that does not bear fruit, it <laughs> takes away. That's the scripture says. It says this. Every branch that continues to bear fruit. He prune it. So that it will continue to bear fruit. Even the nature and finer. The fruits that have been mentioned here. Is the fruits that are found in Galatians 5. And you cannot do this except you are in Mark 11. You obey God's commands. When the fruits are there. Listen to this. The, the moment when you say the name of Jesus, you will surprise people. I don't know if you're hearing me. Don't rush to get oh, things in the physical. Start now in the spirit. I see a fruit in the spirit. Let's start now. You have to bear fruits. You know, in 2020, when you have got a fruit of the spirit, you are going to be a testimony. You are going to shock people around you. I don't know if you are hearing me. I see you bearing fruits. 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 Sometimes when you were looking at yourself, you were try to compete yourself with another. Let me give you an example of what Jesus did. When Jesus cursed a fig tree, when he cursed that fig tree, it's because he was seeing the activities the fruits. The leaves were standing for activities. You can have all the activities in the church without the fruits of the spirit. 
without the fruit of the spirit he won't produce what Jesus wants to produce some of you are admiring some people who just have activities you are just looking people around you you are looking at the leaves always the leaves will fall very soon but the fruits will stay there I'm praying for you right now that this year 2020 2021 that is coming you are going to have fruit in your ministry in your family in your house in your job in your business I see fruits everywhere not activities not coming to dance in the church without joy. Not coming to dance in the church without peace. Not coming to dance in the church without any fruit of the Spirit. Without that fruit of the Spirit, you will lack resources. People will curse your God. I'm here to tell you, I have to declare to you that those who think they are wasting time when you are coming to church they will be surprised of you in the name of Jesus if you believe shout hallelujah this is from now on that is what I want to tell you from now on have the fruits of the spirit all your desires will come your way all your desires all what you are praying for will come your way. Let me prophesy you. All the people of Charis, I'm giving them a month only to produce the fruit of the Spirit. They will bear their fruits. There will be testimonies on your left, on your right, everywhere. I declare to you and I prophesy you that you are going to be an example in your family. Your name will never be tarnished in the name of Jesus. As I'm speaking right now, I declare to you that the fruits of the Spirit that you have the Spirit is coming your way in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. I see the blessing. I see a blessing around you. Listen. People are looking at you. They were questioning what is God of Charis in your life. That you know that God was busy organized inside he was busy with the word but right now I'm here to tell you the word inside you is about to produce is about to make you to overtake them if you believe shout hallelujah hey yeah in fact, I'm starting, sit down. What's it, what's it, what's it? I'm starting, I'm just here to be crazy. Because listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. La, la, la. When God told me to be focused, hey, when there was noise everywhere, God said, what is important? It's not what is around you. It's what inside you. So from there, I said, okay. That's what the Bible says. He used to ask me. It's greater than the one that's in the world. I don't care about what I'm losing. 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 I will maintain what is in me and God began to say listen you'll begin to see fruits listen to this I saw fruits left and right and 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 I saw fruits left and right I don't mind about accusers let them accuse about accusers let them accuse where I'm moving forward I don't mind let them accuse about gossipers let them gossip where I'm moving forward let me tell you to tell you that you are going to be a fruit of the Spirit 
going through the loss of the people but don't forget there is something in you maintain it the fruit of the spirit is in you it shapes your character it makes you to walk the way God wants you to walk and he has to tell you that that shape you are showing is about to produce the fruit that you are requiring in the name of Jesus even if you don't say hey but I'm telling you 2020 is your year 2020 is your year it is your year it's a year that your family have to ask questions is it the same person is it yes? That when other people are given small gifts, yourself, you will be rising up in front of them. Is it yes? Bearing fruit. Is it yes? Of results. Is it yes? Of your name. To be all. I can see your name in front of me. People are part. To talk about you. Hey, people hey, are about to, to speak about you. Check somebody and say, I'm hey, bearing fruit. Hey, I'm hey, bearing fruit. Hey, when you are getting busy hey, when you are talking against hey, when you are me, I'll be busy hey, bearing fruit. When people are busy hey, to block hey, me, I'll be busy bearing fruit. Hey, I want to bear my fruit. Hey, and my fruit hey, shall remain. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Sit down. Do la fat. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. What's who certain wins again, John? When the devil is starting to do these things, Satan was good. the devil knows when, that you, God, has a purpose with your life. Because, you know why he has God, because the devil knows these things. You know what he does? Some are useless. He will lift up useless some things. Are useless. useless things will be lifted. Be useless. Because if they are useless, because are useless, they will be useless and lifted and before you. Hey, hey, let me tell you. When God, when God lifts you, is allowed, let me tell you, you when God lifts you, because he has a purpose with you. Thank you, Jesus. I will tell you about that chance. When you are still saying the church of Makaranisa is dead. Yeah, Makaranisa is in America. When they are saying Makaranisa is going nowhere. The year Makaranisa is in UK. Why? 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 Because Because we don't care about people that are not going anywhere. We don't care. You, you must beat them with the You must overtake and go forward. You must keep what God said you must keep out. You must be known this year. This is William Shabbat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody that I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. About people who are not going far, they will die right here. I don't care about useless people because I'll keep on my fruits and I'll preach for people keep on bearing my fruits. I see the fruits of the spirit, I see the gift of the spirit, I see destiny in your life. I see destiny in your life. I see destiny in your life. Hallelujah. 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 Sit Praise down. The Lord. Sit down. Do long hearts. Don't forget this is the night. I want to show you this verse. Rest. 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 Can you read verse 20? 
Can you read Romans 8? 8. Verse 20. We'll read to 25. Romans 8. Because we are talking about bearing fruits. Bearing fruits. Can I read for you? Amen. It says, for the creation mm. was subjected to vanity. Amen. Not of its own will. Amen. But by reason of him who subjected it in hope. Amen. That the creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the liberty of the glory of the children of God. Amen. 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth mm. and traveleth in pains together until now. 23. Not only so, but ourselves also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves. Amen. Waiting for our adoption. Amen. To wait the redemption of our body. Amen. For in hope we were saved. Thank but you, hope that is seen is not hope. Amen. For who hopeth for that which seeth? But if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? I just want us to look there. Can I, can, I want us to read that verse in the Amplified verse Bible. Say in the Amplified Bible, it will help you a lot. Just read in the Amplified, Amplified Bible, it will really shock you. Can you read in the Amplified Bible? Verse 25. 20. Verse 20. Yes. It says, For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope. 21. Okay, listen. Read it that verse again. I want to explain. Read it. Listen. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope. Listen. Listen to this. Chilecha. I want to mention Charis people. We Charis people who were subjected in bondage. In futility. I'll tell you what's the meaning of futility. The word futility means uselessness. Useless. Useless. But we were subjected in hope. In other words, someone lied to us. Someone gave us a false lie. Lies. And we hope on it. But we have to be delivered. To be having liberty. To have liberty as children of God. Read again. 21. 21. I just want to explain to you what is happening there. When you were going there, I was asking, is this my wife? Uh -huh. It's, <laughs> where? I, was, I was just asking myself, is this one my wife? I said, oh, it's a time of reaping. All right, let me get someone who've got amplified Bible. Mutianali amplified. Come, brother, come. I want us to listen to this verse. Opportunity. <clears throat> Read. Verse 21 that the creation itself will also be freed from its bondage to decay and gain entrance into the glorious freedom of the children of God. Amen. How can you call your children of God without producing fruits? Do you know the meaning of decay? How can you produce when you are decaying? Can you just come and read 22? Don't come to say 22. 22, brother. 22. Verse 22. For we know that the whole creation mm. has been mourning together as in pain of childbirth until now. 
Amen. Twenty-three. And not only this, but we too, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, a joyful indication of blessings to Amen. come. Even we groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for the sign of our adoption, Amen. a sign, the redemption and transformation of our bodily at our resurrection. Amen. Stop there, Wena. Amen. You know, this, the Bible says, <coughs> don't, don't go, stand there. The Bible says, the decay ones, and as we have got the first fruits, we are not different. We are all crying. The decay and the ones that have got the first fruit. Even now, we are crying, we need to see something. Carry on. Verse 24. Uh -huh. For in this hope, we were saved by faith. But hope, the object of which it is, with which it is seen, not hope. Now Amen. we are For, telling, listen, now we are telling these other people so that we are different with the decay ones. Because we have hope. The problem is our hope it's called hope because we cannot see. We have hope because we are expecting something. We know God is about to do something. But we look the same with the decay. But there is something in us here. We have got the first fruits. The first fruits this first fruits is the gifts. The gifts of showing that we are humbling ourselves. Carry on. Last verse on 24. For who hopes for what he already sees? Amen. But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait eagerly for it with patience and composure. Amen. Amen. Don't look down on us. And you say we are like you. There is something that is inside. If there is something inside. Is that we wait. Because we know that this thing will be revealed. Can we just read that verse again? Verse 25. Yeah, yes. For if we hope for what we do not see. Amen. We are telling them. We are telling you. Who say, who say 2019 you saw nothing? We are telling you. 2019, we are, we are, we are telling you. Who say Charis will die? We are telling you. Okay. We wait eagerly. We wait and we wait eagerly. We wait eagerly. For it with patience. And composure. And composure. You know what is the meaning of composure? Uh, as, 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 if in drink a veil, as Nanda Banai, we don't call. care if they are not revealed. We know that they will come. We know that, they will come. We know that at the end, these things will come. You know, I want to prophesy you. This year that is coming, you are about to produce things that people who thought it's over with you, they'll be surprised you are in front of them. If you know, if you know you are waiting for something, and you are waiting urgently, let me hear you say, Amen. Can I tell you this? 
Sometimes we wait patiently with composure waiting for 2020 because we know 2020 when it comes we will forget 2019 I don't know if you are hearing me I see you forgetting what devil has done to you you are about to forget in the name of Jesus are you ready to forget are you ready to move forward are you ready to be something I can hear you I can hear you how long you have been waiting? How long you have been waiting? How long you have been waiting? The waiting period is over. The waiting period is over. Your time has come. I say your time has come. I see you like I said. I see you sowing. I see you harvesting. I see you testifying. I see you testifying. I see you testifying. If you believe, shout out. Yeah, yeah. the past will be now, the past. I see you going forward. I prophesy you're going I forward. I prophesy you're going forward. I prophesy you're going forward. Financially going forward. Materially going forward. Physically going forward. Physically going forward. Physically going forward. I see you going forward. Say I'm going forward. Can you tell, tell people no, about you? Say, hey, as I'm hey, producing. Hey, as I'm producing. Hey, as I'm, producing. Hey, I'm going forward. 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 Hey. Oh, I can hear you. I can lead you. I can hear you. I can lead you. Are you going forward? Lia Pilina. Are you going forward? Lia Copilina. Are you going forward? Lia Copilina. I see you. Kibona Lina. Producing fruits. Lichuelecha Dienua. Producing, producing. Lichuelecha, Lichuelecha. In the spirit. In the flesh. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can you just lift up your hands? Can you play it down, down, down? Ask God, say, oh God. I've seen 2019. But in this 2020, you are giving me ability to produce fruits. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray louder. I can't hear you. Pray louder. Pray louder. Producing fruits. Come on. Give me my iPad. <laughs> Producing fruits. Oh, Jesus. I can't hear you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to kneel down. You ask God and say, oh God, can you play, the, can you play something down, down? Say, oh God, my father, give me the fruits 
give me the fruits that are worthy of my assignment that are worthy of my assignment so that i do so that i do what you want me to do what you want me to pray, do pray 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 ara pele in Jesus name as you are still kneeling ask god to connect you with people that you will help that they will help you to do what god wants you to do in 2020 you won't afford to fail god Ask God to connect you with people that will make you to do and fulfill his plan. Prayer. In Jesus name. Can you cancel every negative plan of the enemy? Are you seen 2019? Jeredi woning 2019. You don't need it 2020. You need victory. Ritoka shulo. By the blood of Jesus. Kama dia Christ Jesus. Prayer. Rapele.
In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you ask Holy Spirit to guide you in every endeavor in your career? In your business, business in whatever you'll be doing in 2020, prayer. 2020. Can you cover in Jesus' name? Amen. Can you cover everything, your family, your ministry, ministry walina, whatever business, kamuka, the business with the blood of Jesus? Can you just do that for 2020? Satan will fail to 2020, attack you. They will come one way. They will run away seven ways. Prayer. Jesus name. Amen. Can you rise up? Thank you, Jesus. You cancel every arrow that will be thrown to your life, to your career, to your business, to whatever. Prayer. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. Every arrow. Every arrow. Every arrow of the enemy. I can hear you. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. Every arrow that flies in the night, that comes during the day. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I can't tell you. Spirit of death. I can't tell you. Spirit of death, I can't tell you. Cancel the spirit of death, spirit of death, spirit of sickness. Turn it ready. You are not invited. You are not invited. Cancel. 
cancel, cancel. Spirit of death, you are not invited. I cancel you. I cancel you. Cancel the spirit of death, spirit of failure, spirit of sickness. I can hear you. Cancel that spirit. Cancel it. In Jesus' name. Listen. You cancel the spirit of death. Spirit of failure. Spirit of whatever. Did you cancel all? Yes. The one happened in 2020. Yes. Amen. Spirit of stagnation. Yes. Amen. It's canceled. Amen. It won't happen. Amen. Welcome to 2020. Amen. We are right up. Let me see you. Let me hear 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 you. I can't 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 hear you. Let me Woo! see you running, turning around. Can you run? We are in 2020. Can you run? Hey. Hey, hey. Ah. Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. Ah. Ah. Run. Sagir, 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 Sagiru, Uma Vala. Ai, bo, Sagir, Sagir. Sagir, Sagir,
keep watching Charis TV.